what is going on everyone so assuming you're watching this video here to set up your Synology active backup for business this video here assumes you already have active backup installed on your NAS if not go ahead and install it and that will be the solution for your problem so I'm going to go ahead and install it okay so once it's installed make sure it says running and you don't need to open it yet you can just click on ok on your active backup agent now you can try connecting again make sure your credentials are correct and now you should be able to proceed and set it up so let's say you're still having the same error i'm going to create a scenario whereby i stop the service okay perfect so now I'm going to try to connect again with the service not running. So as you can see here, with the service not running, we're not able to connect to it. So the service runs on port 5510, TCP port 5510. So we need to make sure that port is running. So to verify that connection, you want to open PowerShell and then you want to type net hyphen connection, your NAS IP hyphen port five five one zero so once you type that enter and that's attempting to verify to ping that port to see if it's open so as you can see mine is closed and that's because the service is not running so what we're going to do now is we're going to run the service so as you can see it's starting the service and now it's running now let's run that same command again and that was true so now let's go back to the agent and connect now as you can see we can still proceed now so it all comes back to the service running so now let's say your service is running and you're still not able to connect to your NAS from the agent and the PowerShell output still says false what you want to do is you want to create an outbound rule for port 5510 usually it's already enabled by default but what you want to do is you want to create an outbound rule for that port so open windows run so windows r and then type in wf.msc so here you want to go to outbound rules here you want to go to new rule port next tcp specific remote port 55100 5510 sorry next allow the connection next next so allow port 5510 rule so here you can put something that you can uh, associate it with so, so So now the rule is allowed as you can see and then you want to try again so now if i go to activate So as you can see, I'm able to see my desktop here. So if that doesn't work, um, I recommend opening a support ticket with Synology. Uh, maybe they will have an idea of how to resolve it. If you've gotten to this stage, then this should work for you. So thank you so much for watching. Peace.